Um, with this move of Matt Olson, does that mean Freddie Freeman will no longer be in your future plans? Yeah, look, I mean, I, unfortunately, just the way the rules are set up, I, I can't get into discussing any free agents. I know, um, I understand the question for sure. It's just the way these rules are set up. So, obviously, we made a trade today. Um, um, you know, we traded for Matt Olson to play first base. And um, I'm excited to have him. And uh, it's obviously tough to part with a lot of really good young talent. Um, but, you know, it's been tough. It's been a challenging offseason just with having a short amount of time, game starting Friday. Um, you know, first base has been something we've been, you know, wanting to settle, and it felt like it needed to be the first domino for our offseason because we have other things to do. So, um, you know, I know every team's going through the same thing, trying to build their team. So um, tough, tough trade to make, really, um, when you're trading that much talent. It was really tough, but, um, you know, excited about Matt joining the club. Alex, what makes you excited about Matt? He's just obviously a, a very good player. Uh, I think the performance speaks for itself. Defense, offense, um, what we know of the makeup, the person, the character. Um, you know, he, he certainly checks all those boxes. Um, you know, one of the best young first basemen in the game. So, and that's why it was so expensive. So, um, you know, we're excited to have him. When did you perhaps get the sense that you guys wouldn't be able to re-sign Freddie so you needed to go this route? Yeah, same thing. I can't get into any free agents. Um, I could just tell you that... Um, you know, obviously, you know, it was obvious. Um, you know, I know there was a lot of talk about guys like Olsen being out there in trade. Um, and, um, you know, today um, things just accelerated. And um, it got to the point where um, we had something that we could do. And uh, it was a tough decision to make to, to say yes. But, you know, we ultimately made that decision. And um, it just allows us to move on with our offseason. We have other holes to fill on the team. And it just we kept... Every day felt like it was getting harder to wait um, because of the other areas we have to fill. You know, Ronald Acuna likely can't play the field till you know, late late May at this point, um, and uh, we're gonna have to figure out some outfield and some other spots as well. Alex, what's the thought behind making this move before Freddie's situation is resolved? Yeah, so I, I understand the question. <laughs> the same thing. I guess I'd say this, like, um, without being able to talk specifically. Um, you know, um, obviously everyone's working the off season right now and doing their best to line things up. And um, we we try to make multiple moves, whether that's rotation, bullpen, position players. And um, this was the only um, deal for us that we were prepared to make at this time. You know, and obviously we, we, we've explored a lot of things. We're going to continue to explore a lot of things. But um, other than the deals we made before with guys like Pena and so on, um, this was the first thing that, you know, uh, that made sense for us, as, as hard as it was to do. How right. hard, Alex, is it, without getting into specifics about free agents, how hard is it, this signals the end of the Freddie era, so how hard was that aspect of it for you, because he's such a beloved figure here? <sighs> yeah, um, and I, I know, I get it, trust me, keep, you could keep coming with that. Um, um, look, I'd say this, this was the, I've been here four years, my mentoring my fifth, this was the hardest decision, tra transaction that I've had to make. I go generally on this, but how much does public relations sort of ever enter your mind when you're thinking about that, with, you know, sort of follow up from this and, and did this trade get all feel different in this offseason with that position? Yeah, I mean, look, um, I think you weigh everything, um, but at the end of the day, um, we have to build the best team that we can with the resources that we have, um, whether that's, you know, signing players, trading for players and so on. So. Um, I understand in this job, trust me, I've been through it a lot. Uh, there's a lot of criticism that comes with it that's just part of the territory. No one enjoys it, but it's my 11th year going into my 11th year as a GM, so I've lived through a lot of it. Um, and I just, I've always maintained I have to do what I feel is best for the, org the organization as hard as those things are to do. Alex, did you reach out to Freddie when you knew this deal was coming down? Yeah, I, I just, you know, I think once. Um, the free agency period is done um, and all that. I'll be able to speak about any free agents and things like that. I just, I know the rules are so strict when it comes to those things. You gave up on what some people have as three of your top 10 prospects to get Matt. What makes that worth it? What about Matt's skill set makes it? I mean, he's a great player, but I mean, look, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's, and it's, I guess it's, you know, when you're talking about fair deals, I guess they're supposed to hurt. It hurts. That's, this is the most talent we've traded since I've been in Atlanta. Um, this is the best group of players, um, all of the above. So those guys are all really good. They were all really tough to move. Um, but obviously Matt's a fantastic player too. And you're going to, you know, the adage you have to give up, you have to give to get and so on. And um, with where we are as a club right now, coming off the World Series, and I think there's 
still feel good about a very competitive contending club. Um, and you know, you, you trade for down the, you're trading for now and you're trading down the road. So, um, but look, obviously, you know, Matt's track record and what he's done, it speaks for itself. Again, he's one of the elite players in the game. And, um, you know, rightfully so, it was going to cost a lot. What's and his it, contract situation? Is he giving you any He's arbitration. About, he's arbitration deal? eligible. Okay. Look, we just made the trade, and we don't ever get into that kind of stuff, you know. So you, guys are, you guys are losing a leader in Freddie. What do you know about Matt makeup-wise in terms of Yeah, I mean, awesome. just like I speak for Matt, um, fan, fantastic. Everybody has unbelievable things to say. So, um, you know, we do a lot of work on that. So that's always been a priority since I've been here in Atlanta. Everybody that we bring in, we spend a lot of time, and the reviews on Matt are fan, fantastic, and I'm excited to get to know him more. Brian Thanks. mentioned that he knows Matt from working some pants with him and things. Did you pick his brain at all just on the makeup there? Yeah, I'll ask anybody when it comes to, you know, players, makeup, things like that. I just think more the better in terms of information anyone that's crossed paths you're trying to do as much work as you can so um everyone has fantastic things to say have you talked to matt yeah what i talked to him he was great he was excited obviously he's from atlanta um you know competitive club um you know like i think i saw him he did media there and he said you know if there's one place he was wanted to go it was going to be here so he's uh, he was very very excited um just came across as just a class act which is what we had heard about him did you get to give you an indication when he'll be in camp uh, we're actually going through that now. So obviously he's in Arizona, time change, we're having to pack up and all that. So we're going to work through that. I'm not sure yet. Pache seems to have grown pretty close with Acuna. I know they showed up yesterday in the matching SUVs and everything. Just, do you feel the need to address the clubhouse personally after a series of moves like this? Is that something you'll do? Or you I'm always available to the players. I'm always around. I walk around. I talk to them. I feel like I'm, you know, so. And I think the players are comfortable enough talking to me as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not a big team meeting guy. The GM normally the manager. The players do that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm I'm around, um, and obviously players, I think are pretty comfortable. I won't speak for them, but in my experiences here in Atlanta, um, you know, I've, I've been able to communicate pretty well with them. How did, how did uh, Snit take that news of the trade? Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, it's happened so fast, right? So um, it's all happened today. So I mean, really, it was things, you know. Um, so he just. You know, he's excited to get mad, obviously. He's a great player, so you know, he knows we have to fill the roster, and he's worried about the guys that are here, and he knows we still have some holes, and I know I still have work to do, um, especially with, you know, not only our games starting Friday, but you know, the season starting, and guys have to get ready, and every game's going to count, and this division is unbelievable. So you know, every club is adding and trying to be competitive. You know, the Washington Nationals, even though they traded guys last year, they, they keep adding. The Marlins, obviously, have done some fantastic things. Obviously, the Phillies, I mean, all of us are trying to win, so it's going to be this. The NL East is going to be a grind. When you say the trade happened today, you mean you came around to the players actually that are going there? You've been talking to them for a while, but how? We just, you know, players? you stay like anything. You, you can't. You have, you're trying to get a sense of, you know, all off season. But we didn't have an off season because we were locked out. So once we started back up, um, you know, we didn't really um, get serious with them until last night, and then it came together today. Alex, I don't claim to be a body, you know emotions expert but you seem kind of bummed out just at this point you pull off his deal and should be excited no yeah i mean it, here. yeah like i said it's you know, i'm excited to get matt but it's tough you keep saying that this is one of the toughest deals that you've had to make it may be obvious because you keep talking about how many prospects you gave up is it anything beyond that or is it because of yeah sure but i you know i can't get into that so um you know it's a tough deal Alex, at what point in time did Um, you know, I just, again, I can't get into specifics. Um, you know, I just, I guess, you know, last night we finally said, look, we're going to try to move forward. I'm trying to get this trade done and see where it goes. And we got it done today. If, okay, it's tough to get rid of Freddie, but you've got two years of a younger Matt Olson. You have $18 more million to spend now. You have, there, there is some good to this deal. How, how do you look at that? Yeah, I mean, look, it's, um, Trying to put the team together with payroll and things like that. You're always trying to balance that. I know, obviously, fans are always going to want more. Front offices are always going to want more. Our payroll's going up. It's been the highest it's ever been in the history of the Braves each year I've been here. Um, obviously, we went back in 20 um, compared to what we were in 2019, but we got back there by the end of 21. So we've climbed. I know it's a topic. Um, I, I get it, but we continue to climb. But look, there's a limit to how high we're going to go. Um, and I'm going to work within that. You know, I've never been one to complain. and. Um, I'm happy with the relationship and all the resources that, that I get from T Terry McGurk. And um, whatever resources we have, I'm going to do my best to put the best club on the field. But that, make, that means making some tough calls. What Is it you, going up again this year? Yeah, it's going up again. Where do you think you guys stand 
in the division with the Mets adding and then the Phillies adding. Something. You know what? I mean, I'm I'm aware of what everyone's doing, but we never react, and we just I worry all the time, right? I look at every team, and I think every team's great, but especially when they keep adding. So we really do just try to worry about ourselves, build the best club that we can, and look to Snit and the players the credit. You know, they've. I don't think anyone's expected us to win the division in the last four years. These guys have gotten it done. So um, I stress about it every year. It's a grind. I'm still in, in shock every time we've, we've won, but I'm obviously elated. And I just, it's, it's a challenge. And I, I don't think that, you know, it's, it continues to get harder. I know you can't speak to specifics, but as you move forward, are you anticipating you're going to have to have a lot of conversation with fans about the direction? Uh, um, you know what? I mean, I, I don't... I mean, I'm, I'm around Atlanta a lot. My kids play sports and uh, schools and all that. So fans have been good to me. Um, you know, I've always been very polite to me. Obviously, I get asked questions and things like that. But Atlanta fans have just been so respectful everywhere I've been. And I just kind of, I think I'm kind of below the radar overall. But I'm out there and around. But, um, you know, I, I do stuff for the organization and things like that. And, um, you know, my view of it is the players, the manager, um, they're the ones that they're the spokespeople for the club. I understand I'm accountable for trades and signings, um, but I don't think people are paying to come see me be a GM, right? They're, it's about, about the players. So um, I think as long as we hopefully do a good job and put a good team on the field, they should be pleased. Alex, have you ever had a move in your career that's had so much emotion? Nope, and... not even close. Well, I mean, I know we can't get into specifics, but I gotta, I gotta ask why. I mean, you just, you know, it's um, make trading tough players away and um, making big trades, and um, you get attached. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Thanks Alex. Thanks, 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 Alex. Thanks,